If you have the ability to make your wish come true by writing on a wall, will you do it? However, you can only wish when your mind is filled with hatred. So what is your choice? Spoilers alert here. Our story continues when Bam was scared of what would happen to the cleaner if her words written on the wall came true. Later, others would say that she was the murderer. His idea determined to us that Bam was thoughtless with her words and action. The next day, the cleaner was seen hanging that cruelly, making Bam unexpectedly shocked and scared thin her words became impossibly true. Nano sadly asked Bam why this woman committed suicide because she still had kids at school. It didn't make any sense that she could have decided to kill herself. Shortly afterward, the bully girl whom Bam met last time asked her if Bam was the one who killed the cleaner by writing on the bathroom wall. Bam started to feel gravely wrong, so she ran to wipe the writing on the wall. After leaving the bathroom, Bam heard other students mention that the cleaner was suddenly alive, which made Bam shocked because she could take back what she wrote on the wall. Shortly afterward, Bam accidentally saw Nano showing her flirtatious attitude toward O. Because of her jealousy, Bam would never stop her hatred and continue her evil action. After a while, Nano ran away in shame because her face was full of pimples. Without a doubt, this shame was caused by Bam again. At first, we thought that Bam would stop her action, yet she was more harmful than before due to her hatred. Anyway, about the cleaner case, Bam was still shocked that she could come back to life. To answer her question, she checked Google if there was any surviving hanging, yet her computer shut down itself. Shortly afterward, Bam's mother called her, saying that she had a bad dream seeing Bam trapped in the bathroom. On the other hand, Bam was so careless about her mother's words. Instead, Bam went on to ask her mom whether the dead could be resurrected or human could become dogs. She felt it sounded weird so she stopped asking. During the night alone, Bam couldn't sleep tightly because she had a nightmare. She saw Nano and the cleaner sitting in front of her, and Nano asked her why she killed the cleaner as the cleaner was a good person. Progressively, Nano still asked why Bam had killed her, and then she woke up with horror. While Bam was studying as usual during her class, a female student jumped out of the classroom window mysteriously. Bam ran to the bathroom to find out whether words were written or not, and it was. She saw bad words wishing that female student to kill herself. This writing was from that bully girl. After the situation, many students started to behave strangely, and strange thing happens every Every day in school, many students knew about the wall. It even caused the principal's death. Now everything was out of control. Without choice, Bam ran into the bully girl's class to ask her to stop the writing. Bam also warned her not to tell anyone about the wall. Yet the girl did not stop because she was addicted. After that, Bam ran into the bathroom and saw many harsh words, shockingly, about O2. Then she quickly ran to O because she did not know who wished O cripple, meaning his legs or arms would be hurt. Shortly afterward, O's leg began to hurt badly. This situation made her get furious and she saw a pen. Then she asked O's friend who seemed suspicious about the wall but he wouldn't answer. Not knowing what to do, she came to the bathroom to clean the wall but someone wrote one phrase that stated he or she would die if anyone cleaned the wall. Bam decided not to do it because she was so frightened of that. Finally, Bam sat alone hopelessly at the football field thinking about what she had done and suddenly Nano appeared in front of her. Warmly, Bam apologized for her mistakes and everything she messed up. Then Nano started laughing like a crazy witch. Nano proudly said that when Bam wanted to do something, she never thought of its consequences. Nano actually knew every single thing that Bam had done. Then Bam wrongly accused that everything was because of Nano, not her. Nano warmly replied that everything was Bam's choice. She never forced her to do it. Now everyone who had written on the bathroom wall was all good people, but Bam spoiled them. Nano told her to admit her mistakes and erase the writing if she did. Bam confidently replied implied that she would do it even if she would die, so she quickly ran to the bathroom. Nano shouted to everyone that Bam would erase all words on the bathroom wall. Students who wrote on the wall forcibly ran to stop her. In this situation, we could see that 
all the wrongdoers had no courage to solve the problems themselves but depended on the wall. Bam tried her best to erase those words in panic. After a while, all the knocks on the door were quiet down. She then walked downstairs and saw no one in school except Nano. Actually, there was a sentence written that I wish everyone would disappear on the wall. This situation implied that Bam's wishes on the wall were no different from wishes for everyone to disappear. It means that she would pray for anyone to perish if they had a problem with her. Therefore, she was a person who ran away from her problem. As a result, she deserved no friend, no lover, and no happiness so she would be alone in this world. Do not seek happiness by ruining the lives of others. This story guides us to think of any possible consequences of our actions. Do what won't harm others. Think before action. With love, we can make our world a better place, but with hatred, people can destroy each other. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe because new videos will be out soon.